Yeah, the Miss G's here with the entertainment gossip. Good evening. Hello, how you doing, Angel? Well. Well. Okay, so later I'll be introducing you to a new challenge. But for now, let's start with a UK based Ghanaian musician. Now, so you know how we have the GH beef? Okay. Among musicians, it looks like some G UK GH beef is about to start. So what is between someone uh, UK based uh, Ghanaian musician and a Ghana no, based? No, two of the all the groups are based. They are there. Ah, UK beef, well, UK then, Ghana beef. How yeah, would that, that one be? Will it be salted or it will be? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so so crumbs and flavor were in town some weeks ago, and they were talking about you know music. But one thing they told us as well is the fact that you know they haven't been able to do a song with Fuse ODG because the young man is afraid of them. Why is he afraid? Let's get to know. I think he's afraid. <laughs> is what? He's afraid. <laughs> They are what? He is afraid. He is afraid of you guys. If he gives us that spotlight, it's all over. If Cam, sorry, if Cam some flavor is given the spotlight by Fuse ODG, there's no Fuse. I f I, I, maybe that's what he thinks. With us, it's not like that. But for us, we, I, that's what I think. I don't know why. I don't know what's stopping him. Even though it's not like we, we care. We don't care. We still do what we do. But we don't care about him. No, because he, he, he tends to make us look like he's blazing the flag and putting together all the artists who are Ghanaians he out there. Have, have you made have an you attempt? Have you made an attempt to, you know, get in touch? Maybe he thinks that he needs to be gotten in touch with. Has Quamps and Flavor made an attempt? Never. And I never will. Why? If something is going to happen between Quamps and Flavor and Fuse, it has to be organic. It has to come from the heart. Why? If, 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 you, if Fuse, for example, wants to do something with us, why would you wait for us to now make the first step? What's wrong if he did? We okay. have. Thought about you have? Yeah. And he didn't yeah, respond positively? No, he didn't respond. Okay. You don't get the beef, eh? Yeah. Okay, what's your problem with the beef? No, I mean, if the guy, well, if you want the guy to do a collaboration with you, if he's ready, he will do a collaboration but with you. But I said they've asked him. Yeah, and but the fact that you've asked. No, the fact that you've asked and the guy is only interested in But see, he seems to be blazing, you know, the, 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 the trail for all the Ghanaian artists based in the UK. And he creates the impression that, you know, everything so, is well. So you know. if you want to do a collaboration with Davido and Davido doesn't mind. Da Davido is not Ghanaian. No, it still doesn't matter. It matters, you know. But, you know, Fuse has been responding. And here's what Fuse has got to say about this. Fuse was actually very surprised when I said this to him. He thought I was lying. Because I invited him to my house and everything. So, their family is here, you know. But if they want me to do more, then I'm definitely willing to do more. They should be. You said they've been calling on your collaboration for a very long time. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm ready for it. I'm always ready. If you ask anyone as a word to me, I'm a real life person. We have to be next to each other and then we can start from scratch and we can kill it. I'm ready to kill any trap. Yeah, man, I'm more than open for the guy. And, uh, I love the amount of flavor. And they should, they, should, they should come now. They should come, come home. And let's do it. I'm ready. Yeah. She said tonight. Yeah, he's been nice. Oh, he's got to be nice. Why not? You know, yeah, but nice. oh, but oh, Charlie, don't do that. Don't do that. We don't want UK GH UK beef. No, we don't we want do it. So, well, let's see what Quams and Flavor will come up with. Whether they'll go home like he's asking them to or not. So, there's another beef. So, on social media, um, Hammer of the Last Two Fame, a sound engineer very well known here in Ghana, posted something that suggested that he never called on Strongman, who is a success signee, back in the day because he wanted to help him or because he felt that he was a good rapper. You know that strong man uh, is now with Saxis, that Sarkozy is a label. And Tiflo, who is another rapper and seems to be the arch rival of strong man, is or used to be managed by Hammer. Right. So there's been that back and forth about who is the best among these two. That's Tiflo and Strongman. And somebody said to Strongman that, oh, that's why Hammer didn't sign you and sign Tiflo. The guy wanted to make it known that Hammer reached out to him while he was in school, blah, blah, blah. I think it didn't go down well with the success team, and he was forced to apologize. So here is a strong man letting us know what exactly happened. No, I, I don't feel it that way. But what I would try to say is um, maybe I, since I was angry at that time, 
But on the real, I've, I keep hearing people talking about that issue for like four years now. But the reason why I've not res responded yet is because it's not, I've not heard it from Hama, right? The conversation was between myself and Hama. And so far as other people are reading meanings into it, I don't care. But since Hama came out to say it, it was like, no, you also need to, because Hama is relevant. So if you don't say it, people will take it, that is the truth. So I just needed to say something, and the moment I said it, that was it all. People were reading a whole lot of meanings. Honestly, when I wrote it, I didn't feel bad about it. But a management called me and he said, you know, Hama is our big man. Like, Sa called me, Charlie, Hama is my big man. So if you say you do respect me, that means no matter whatever happens, you need to, you know, respect Hama as well. I've apologized, and I'm taking this platform to also say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And this time around, I will, I will take good care of myself, not to, you know, cause any commotion anymore. So anything someone says, I'll keep quiet. Give me a chance to wipe your tears. No matter the advice you get from peers. Many, many lives. Okay, so well taken. Now, have you had the controversy of South African rapper who was in Ghana for the VGA me saying that um, he doesn't know Shatawale? And when he was asked the question, he asked whether Sh if Shata was a girl or a boy. No, I haven't. Oh, that. you haven't had Nasty C? Oh my goodness, here's Nasusi and how he feels about Is that being... why he was trending? Oh, so exactly <laughs> why he was trending. So a lot of people don't know this young man, but here's what he had to say about his visit to Ghana. I feel amazing, man. Coming out here in Ghana my first time, but it feels like I've been here before. Like, the love is so crazy. People just receiving me. Like, I'm, I'm family to everybody, you know? Coming out here, I'm saying I could definitely bring the Ibis on tour quicker than I thought. I have to bring it sooner. I have to drop the album sooner. For all my Ghanaian fans, I appreciate you guys. Ibis on game, man. <laughs> So that's the South African rapper who is asking whether Shatawali is a girl or a boy. But you know, he said he wanted to meet Stone Boy, and that really happened. We saw him in the studio with Stone okay. Boy. They've recorded something. So now he knows who Shatawali is. The guy was training. You know, hey, the Shata SM movement, eh? <laughs> you dare not look for their trouble. No matter who you are, they must find fault with you. This guy was training, but they took swipes at him, jabs, everybody. Yeah, Charlie, if you had stayed here a week, I'm sure by now. They would have murdered oh him. my goodness, you know. But like I said, there's a challenge that has gone viral. And you remember Igwe to Park? You know, it's actually, you know, Igwe to Park is the title of a movie he featured in. Okay. And he's taking that name for himself. Now, he's called Charles Okocha. He's a Nigerian actor. Recently, I know Noella told you a story. Okay, it was Araba who was here. He talked about how he was shot six times by a policeman uh, who also was a fan of his and was trying to, you know, hail him in the process because he was he shot drunk, him. shot him six times, and the guy survived. So I think maybe that's why he... Was he really shot? Yes, he was shot six good times in and the, the bullets stomach. hit him? Yeah. And he, he, he showed scars, yes, of that. Oh, really? And so now he's taking to comedy. Maybe he's become a comedian. Uh, so, like, I mean, it's passed through his uh, head. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No, it passed through his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the latest one by Igwe Tupac. Accolades. Accolades, nigga. I swear you do, bro. Accolades, man. I found some accolades. Oh, no. Oh, I, I should acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. I deserve some accolades. I deserve some accolades. I deserve some accolades. I know, bro. I deserve some accolades. Oh, my God. I deserve some accolades. Accolades. I deserve some accolades. I deserve some accolades. Okay. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Okay, so. So he's gone worldwide. So he deserves some accolade. Don't you understand? Okay, he's gone worldwide. How he's do you become go global. Okay, so you want to know how he's gone worldwide? Okay, see some more. Hey, hey what's, hey, what's happening, man? Hey, it's your boy, it's your boy MC Payne, and I'm here chilling, man, in the studio. We have Don Jazzy in the building. Sure. Come on, man, Don Jazzy, tell him what's happening, homie. What up? What up? Is that all you gonna say? What up? Come on, man. I deserve some macaulay. I deserve some macaulay. <laughs> Whoa, why? Whoa, why? Whoa, why? Whoa, why? We're killing it. We're doing this. We're doing it. Are you the hype man or the hype man? You are the hype man. I ain't my I thought I'm the hype man. 
This is Alhaji Wusa, aka Voice Hodo Voice Opola, aka Voice Avoting Egan, aka Two Million on a Wartel. I started from Wolewaro to my son, from my son, check it to my baby. If Lizard, I go from three, nobody agree to. I will shake head, worried, and left. What's up with the Haka Alhaji Musa? I deserve some aqualet. Give me some aqualet. I deserve some aqualet. Give me some aqualet. I deserve some Give him fuck you two million on a bottle. Two million on a bottle we are popping. Whoa, wow, whoa, wow. Are you mad? What's wrong with this guy? Uh, What's the problem? Sorry, oh God. If I want buy a motor, I discount one. Are you serious? Look at If I want buy a motor, I discount one. They buy. They use the practice. Practice make perfect. Whoa, wow. I deserve some. Ah, quelle de oga. Give me some. Ah, quelle. All right, at this point, you deserve some accolade for bringing Whoa, this wow. story. <laughs> oh, say it, eh? So, so say, tell me I deserve some accolade. I'm the hype woman. You deserve some accolade. I deserve it. You deserve some accolade. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. We've gone global. <laughs> yeah, because they're watching us in the UK oh, and all wow. over Europe. Oh, wow, UK. And all over we Europe. deserve some accolade. Israel and I. Cheers. Thank you for having me.